Hello everybody, welcome to the studio. This morning my project is uh, a picture in the style of Andy Warhol. Um, and it's a picture of Volodymyr Zelensky. I'm going to sketch first of all onto this nice new canvas, large canvas, uh, and make a compilation from pictures off the internet. So I'm going to sketch loosely at first. Um, Andy Warhol actually had a studio in New York called The Factory and he used a photo transfer very often. He didn't sketch much. He was a very good artist but he didn't sketch much. So he photo transferred and everything then was perfect. So we none of us have got those facilities so you'll be wanting to sketch like me. So if you try this you're going to have to sketch it on. We'll speed through the sketch. It's a very quick sketch. We've just got to get some main features right. And then we'll come on to his eyes come about there. We'll come on to the Andy Warhol type painting. Ideal. I'm using charcoal pencil, very handy charcoal pencil to do this sketch. I can rub at it when I make mistakes. And it's got very close, very close hair. We'll use this in an Andy Warhol type way towards the end. So I'm going to put uh, Vladimir into one of his t-shirts, famous t-shirts. They come about here. Keep that in mind. Now his shoulders. Right, so his shoulder comes at this angle. Point of his shoulders about there. So there's the T-shirt. And what I'm going to do is put the Ukrainian symbol here, just the top of it on the top of his t-shirt, so we all know what it is. Make this the top, top of the symbol, that spreads into that shape, and then there are these wings, they come from lower down. And I've decided to do um, a yellow background, a blue t-shirt and a yellow symbol. So we've got the little talk of Ukraine in the picture. There's the symbol that side. Slight bow into that, slight bow. Wrong. You can use plastic rubber on charcoal. You still get smears, but you have to paint over it. Now, the reason I'm doing this like this is I'm constructing it in the way that the famous t shirt painting of Che Guevara was constructed and that was, that was from a photograph taken in uh, Cuba. But Shay and Vladimir have similarities. Not parallels but similarities. Both freedom fighters obviously. And um, 
Shea was a doctor, he was a physician. Dr. Alfonso Guevara. And of course, Vladimir was uh, originally a comedian, actor, presenter, actually once acted the part of the President of Ukraine in a television programme. But a great freedom fighter, so let's have him on picture. I think that will do. I think that's all I need in the way of sketching. So what I've got here, to give me a bit of inspiration, is Andy Warhol's uh, original picture of Audrey Hepburn. Now you can see that originally this is a, a photographic type of reproduction. It's too perfect to have been a sketch. So he's put that onto canvas and then painted these blocks of colour in. Andy Warhol, a lot of people would say he's a pop artist, but actually had his own style. He did a lot of work in the style of Roy Lichtenstein. So he, he did this cartoony sort of art. But um, this was his most accessible type of art, very commercial, so that everybody could see and buy copies and have what was an accessible picture of a well-known person. Most of the people that he did weren't particularly nice people, perhaps, but um, they made good images. I've got this lemon yellow, and it's very close, I think. It's not quite. It's not quite right, so we might have to mix some other colour in. But I need quite a bit of this lemon yellow. So I've got a little bit of primary yellow here. And I'm mixing that as well. I'm going to put that in as well. Because I want this yellow to reflect the Ukrainian flag as well. On behalf of Vladimir. A little bit of mixing white in case I need to lighten it. That's titanium. Mixing titanium. A little bit of gel. Wind gel, this is. This one. Large flat brush. This is a number 12 soft hog's hair and I'm just going to mix this paint with the brush oh, I'm liking it this would have been one of his colours I'm sure so get all that white in that's what it needed a little bit of for lightening up and then we're going to go straight onto the canvas Keep the brush quite wet so that it moves around well. You'll notice with uh, Warhol's painting here of Audrey Hepburn that you can see flashes of other colour in here and there. So he's picked up little bits of other colour on his palette. I don't want to do that at the moment. I want it to look like painting but I want it to be block colour. See, it, go around his head there. I'm just going to put my palette down for a moment. So I'm scrubbing it in places so it's not entirely flat. This is, to give, this is to give a bit of interest really just in the yellow. So when you scrub it you get a different surface reflection. Really. I've got quite a big canvas here and I'm using quite a lightweight sand. So I'm just holding on to it at the moment because I'm pressing quite hard just to get all the paint off the brush. Right, we come down the other side here. Quite a distinctive head Vladimir's got. 
I'm using some of that charcoal, pulling it back into the paint. It'll give a bit of a, sort of a shadow around the head. He's got great ears, great ears here. Got all sorts of things going on around his ears. So Andy Warhol was actually quite a good fine artist. He did produce some really good paintings, but uh, he was a bit of an on-the-scene person. He was also the manager of the Velvet Underground rock group and a friend of uh, a friend of the members of the group as well. So he was quite a scene person, particularly in New York. Had a lot of very arty friends. And he was a big influence. He did celebrities because he liked this idea of accessible art. Um, he, uh, he did these images after polarisation came out. Uh, you could buy polarising sunglasses. Um, and people got, back in the 60s, back in my day, everybody, back in the 60s, people got uh, used to seeing polarised images all the time because of these polarising sunglasses. And I think Andy Warhol picked up on that and decided that that would be a great way to quickly do accessible art. So I've got a flat number eight. I'm just going down to the chest to do this insignia. Charcoal. I'm not going to worry about the charcoal that's being picked up here. I don't see it as a problem. It's the front of his t-shirt. You wouldn't see it really clearly anyway. Uh, this is part of the signia, insignia of the Ukrainian flag. So let me just move around a minute. Okay, that's all I'm going to do with that for the moment. You can see I've made a bit of an error there. Okay, so I'm going to put in the features, the block features, the hair, eyebrows, moustache, all this sort of stuff. Just using lamp black here. I've got a picture up of John Lennon by Andy Warhol. This is uh, an overlay. There's a photographic piece underneath. And he's overlaid that to show the hair in a psychedelic type of way. So he's used blue and yellow. I'm going to be doing that later. John Lennon, funnily enough, has some features, facial features, very similar to Vladimir Zelensky. The nose is quite similar in places, goes from broad to narrow. The mouth is very, very similar. And there are some shading features, particularly the eyebrows. So I'm just going to borrow with John Lennon, just to give me inspiration. I'm picking up a round brush. This is a round number nine, and it's a new one by the way, and I'm just going to put the hair in. So this is in the style of early Warhol, quite solid, quite solid hair. Going up to this peak. I'm using lamp black here because actually it covers the yellow really well if I go over. So there's a he's got this funny little curl in his hair here. He's got very wiry hair. Got a bit of a widow's peak, just a little.
I've got no gel in this paint, I'm just using pure lamp black. You see, when you don't have the gel, the paint's a little bit harder to actually drag around. So for this edge, I'm going to put a little bit of gel into it, just a tiny bit of gel. And I'm going to swap to another round brush. This is a number, so number five. Put the gel in. You can see I haven't got a picture of Zelensky up at the moment. Uh, I'm just treating it as a piece of art. This is Warhol style. I'm putting the texture of the hair in the movement in the hair using the brush strokes, the way it grows. We've got this beard now coming down. Well, the beard is quite a new thing for Vladimir. As our Prime Minister always calls him there, Vladimir. We come down here. I know it seems odd that I'm putting the beard in before the face colour, uh, but there are sort of overlays going on. So I will have to go backwards and forwards. If I, Andy Warhol would have to do this, he would have to go backwards and forwards over the different overlays of colour. Goes up on his cheek a little bit there. I'm doing some of this from memory. So I, I studied this face last night and now from memory I can remember how little parts of it go. It's part of art, is observation and uh, remembering how things work, how shapes work. Okay, that's fine for that. Now these slightly crazy eyebrows of his. around the nose. Come back to all that. Block that in. So now some of the smaller features. Eyes are always difficult, folks. They have to be in the right place. This is quite good, this eye. I'm doing the eyes blank. Leave those at that. Quite heavy eyelids. So I just keep going until Vladimir starts to appear. I think he actually is appearing, it's doing it's going quite well. Quite strong there, quite strong here. I mean, this is a smallish brush and I'm using it rather like a pencil to get this colour on. Uh, get the bags under his eyes. We've got some colour in. That will come later. 
This is just the beginning, this part of this. Okay, it's got this mark, scowling mark. We'll put that in later properly. And then a little bit of shadow down here. Okay, a bit of shadow here. Right, now the nose. So he's got, like John Lennon, his nose is pinched at the bottom. Okay, slightly overdone that, so that will be coming out again. I'm going to paint over that when I do the face. Uh, the face colour. Now the mouth here has a particular shadow. The beauty of actually having a basic face and overlaying colour in the way Andy Warhol did it is that uh, you can repair things. So he's probably done the same thing with John Lennon. Put a little bit of colour this side of the nose, taking it back out again with the overlay of pink. That's what I'm going to be doing there. Now Warhol would dabble as well in places like this. He'd be dabbling this paint on um, to make it look shadowed. I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. I've got a strong lip, lip line. That's enough for the facial features. Just have a look at his ears. Got very strong ears, very strong definition in his ears. So put that in that side, this, this side. Yeah, come on, round you come. Good old Ukrainian ears, look at that. So the face, as such, I think is done. I might bring some shadow in here. I'll take that out and bring it this side. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So the next thing is the flesh colour and then some detail and then this blue t-shirt. So we're going to start with rose matter. Got a fair bit to cover. I will use a bit of gel. And then yellow ochre. Oh yeah. Yellow ochre. I need some white. This is mixing white, titanium. Titanium mixing white. And then a little touch of permanent magenta. Just put it into the corner there. I want this sort of pallor. He's stressed, he's working hard, got a pallor to his face. I'll use the big brush to mix. The brush I'm using is a flat 10 for mixing and starting to put the colour on. Put some of that magenta in. going to work out. So just the stuff that's on the brush goes into the white. This isn't going to be a true reflection of skin. There isn't going to be a lot of shaping in it. There's not going to be a lot of three dimension in it. Um, but it wants, I want it to reflect how I'm feeling about this particular picture. I'm just going to put a bit more of that yellow ochre in. His true skin is, is quite pale, a little bit sallow. Uh, but 
but I want to reflect the sort of stress and the worry and the, all the other things. Okay. Right, I think that's going to be the colour that I want. So I'm going to start with all the broad strokes. Let me just put a little bit of gel into it and brightens it up as well. I'm liking that. So here we go. Forehead first. Putting on the uh, flesh and then smoothing it. You would have wanted to smooth it. So I will be doing that. I'll use a clean brush to do that in a minute. But as you see, not a lot in the way of features going on. Just this fleshy colour. Oh, fleshy colour in his beard now. Okay, we'll deal with that later. Accidents do happen, folks. Don't worry about it. down to this Zapata moustache that he's taken on in the past few weeks. See how you can move the paint about as well. You saw what I just did there, took that corner out, the shading around the eye. Now, back into there, just have to keep going round that because I keep picking up that lamp black, not going to worry over for much. Put it on the brush now, kitchen roll. Everybody, never be without kitchen roll. I'm not going to worry about this black going into that area um, because although Vladimir always looked well looked after. He's looking a little bit unkempt at the moment with all the business going on. Okay, I'm just going to take some of the marks out. I'm going to put that brush down. I'm keeping all my brushes wet. Soft round brush here. Got a round number nine. I'm just taking some of the, the marks out, smoothing them off a little bit. because the skin is smooth. So we want it uh, smoothed off just a little bit, I want too much texture in it. Well, Andy Warhol took all the texture out pretty much, very often, and he still liked it to look like a painting. I've got two smaller round brushes here. I've got a round with no number on. Oh, it's a number 10. And a number six. So I'm just gonna dabble between the two Start with a little number six and some of the flesh with plenty of gel in. See the gel come up to that point there. I did a bit of scumbling there, a bit of renaissance came into my picture there. Um, 
we've got to remember that this has got this moustache here. Not quite sure what I've done there now. Gone over the black bit, let's just bring that back. Sorry, I've gone a little bit quiet, folks, but uh, just a bit of concentration there for a minute. We're painting the style of Andy Warhol, doing uh, one of his very commercial paintings. Uh, he was very famous, although his most expensive paintings are paintings of people. He's really famous for painting uh, soup cans. Uh, Campbell soup. He felt that it was very commercial, very a thing of the people. And uh, so he painted several cans on top of each other of Campbell's soup. People thought it was fantastic. Couldn't get enough of it. I actually went down in the 60s to see an exhibition at the Tate. He wasn't the greatest painter in the world. He wasn't very precise, so I'm not going to be very precise. I'm not going to worry too much. His Campbell soup cans were pretty dreadful, but a great idea. They were a great idea. They worked really well. And they sort of woke people up to the fact that art can be for everybody. Okay. So I'm going to have to go round the black again in places. Take some of these brush strokes out. Sorry Andy, I'm not going to be perfect. I quite like the way that's come out. So let's have a go at this side. Picking up that black is quite useful in places. You've just got to know when to stop. It's brought the shadow in there. At the moment, this is rather like some of his early work when he was working at the factory in New York. But I'm going to bring a bit of psychedelic uh, painting in, a little bit of psychedelia using the Ukrainian colours and add them in here. Very, very of the era. As you can see by John Lennon here, um, Andy has painted on top of his rather perfect this is painted, the background is painted and this perfect reproduction of John Lennon he's added to and uses psychedelic strokes in the hair around the eyebrows, around the glasses and actually made it more John Lennon than the original picture so we're going to have a look at doing something like that
Oh, like that, like that. Let's get the scowl marks. See, I've got pink and black on the brush at the moment. Get the scowl marks. Get the bags under his eyes. Yeah, there he is. There you are, Vladimir. You've been hiding on my canvas. There you are, you've just popped up. Okay. I think we'll say that the actual face features are done. I think we can say that looks like him. We're going to put the ears in. Which brush have I got? Yeah, the little one. Just put a dot on there for here low. Do the edge. Going to have to come back and do the yellow again. Might have to put a bit, bit of a black line on the outside of this as well. There's a bit there. Just bring that black in a little bit on that side. Yellow. Okay. Not perfect, it'll do at the moment. But we've got this little bit here under the chin. Coming over the lines with it, over the charcoal line. Going in the way that the skin goes. The marks on the on the neck. Need to get some of that black out. Going to mix another colour now. Well, not another colour, um, another shade of this pink. So I've got this stuff here, put a bit of magenta in. Okay, so it's just gone darker there. I'm going to go. Here, here, and down. And then the other side here. What I'm doing here is just showing in block where the shadows of the face are. Just to give the face a little bit of uh, character. So we can get away with a certain amount of this. As long as it's in block, yeah, we can get away with that. Down to the neck. Scumble it in. I think I'm Botticelli, folks. Scumble it in. Show the beard edge. I'm going to disguise that later. Back to this pure colour. A 
Yes, I am. Well, I'm pulling the other covers in here to merge them a little bit. Not too much. We've still got to remember Andy Warhol. Got to keep Andy in mind all the time. Block colour. I just want to go back to the ears for a moment. So we've got dark parts. Dark parts in the ears. Not so much on that side. But definitely on this side. Definitely on this side, so that part, the uh, this part. Round here. I think I might have to go to a smaller brush for a moment. Just going to pick up this tiny round. It's a little number three. Yeah, that's better. Just go back to this pale pink here. That's also better. I'll go back to the big black brush. Got my black palette here. Get rid of the mistake. Show a little bit of the beard shadow down there. A little bit in the hair missing. I've just gone back to the yellow, pick the yellow palette up and the big brush. Need a bit of an error there. Uh, the, I had a slight error here, I had too much beard. It's a very neat sort of a, a, a neatly scruffy beard at the moment. So I've just cut into that. I think that's about right. And then I'm going to go up here and take some marks out. There's just some black marks that have come out, the lamp black has come out and uh, I just didn't care for it. I've got to say, no other reason than that, I didn't care for it. Okay, that's better. And then there's a little bit down in the neck here, and there. I quite like that. Picked up a little bit of white in the yellow, and it's actually stood out. So now the blue t-shirt, so we're going to use the blue of the Ukrainian flag, obviously. Okay, so I've mixed the blue here out of cobalt blue, touch of cerulean blue, and uh, white, titanium mixing white. So that was the original colour I had, and I've just darkened it with more of the blues. So the t-shirt is going to be like a representation of... Ukrainian flag. I'm sure that's what Vladimir would like. Just putting in his shoulder first. Okay. Right, I'm going to put a tiny bit of gel into my blue paint. Now I can see exactly what the colour is going to come out like. And here we go. Don't want too many brush marks. Got to remember that we're doing a, a Warhol type representation of the Ukraine Prime Minister. Nice and strong round there. 
come back to this part. I need a smaller brush to do that little bit there, so I'm coming back to that. And we'll go in the directions of the T-shirt. down to this Ukrainian emblem here. I'm painting upwards because it's easier for me to do that. charcoal line has just come through there because the paint isn't too thick I'm just brushing some of the lines out of it and I'm brushing it in the direction that the shirt falls very lightly now and across the neck now I'm going to put some more gel into the paint Just using all the, the brush is really well loaded at the moment, and I'm using that fact to get the colour on. into the t-shirt there. Just taking some of the marks out, using the brush very lightly. Okay, I'm going to switch to a smaller brush. So I'll switch to a sable here, a long sable, it is for oil paint. This is a round number six. I'm not going to worry about the colours mixing with each other down there. I 
just a representation of this. Just picking up that shape. a little bit up here. Same there, a little bit. Now using the blue, I'm going for even smaller sable, size two sable, and I'm going to use the uh, the blue, and we're going to look at those little psychedelic colours that come in. Bits of blue. Touches of blue around the eyes. Blue around the beard, and then I'm going to switch to yellow. Same brush, still got bits of blue in. I've gone to the yellow palette. There's strange marks in the hair. And then bits of the beard. Just dabble about in the beard. Pick a bit of that black up. Right, I'm just going to put some bits right in the head. Got a bit of a blob there. Bit of a blob there. And that's a bit clumsy. Right, those are okay. There's no black here to do, there's a bit there. This is another sable brush I'm using, just to do little bits. There's some clumsy bits here. Okay, black brush away. Let's go for the yellow brush. Just doing some very fine lines here. yellow and then I'm just going to use some kitchen roll a bit of kitchen roll here dab over this blue a little bit I'm just doing this so I don't want all of those uh, brush lines I don't mind a few I just don't want all of them in. I'm going to pick up my blue brush again. Just didn't care for that line there. I'm going to go back to the black brush down the bottom here. And then with the black brush again, this is a sable. The outlines here. I've mixed the blue with the yellow down here. I'm not going to worry about it. It's uh, got a bit of a wall hole look about it, so I'm quite happy with it. A little bit to go in there in black. I think we can call that done. So it's a representation of Vladimir Zelensky in the style of Andy Warhol. Just a touch of Che Guevara. 
So thanks for being with me today. I hope you enjoyed the painting. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. And I hope to see you again next time at my next workshop. Bye everybody. Thank you.